stopping by the channel. My name's Leah, and let's get into this recap and review of Real Housewives of New Jersey shenanigans in the woods and shenanigans at the baseball field <laughs> let's so, get into y'all know we talk about the drama before we get into the episode that come down my timeline so two things one they filmed the reunion there's um andy posted a picture talking about you know he getting ready for the jersey reunion also we found out that teresa can't yell teresa? because of her surgery if you didn't know, know teresa had like an unexpected surgery okay. and i think they were I'm taking out her this. appendix so You're per doctor's orders she can't yell at the reunion i mean but all the, all the, the other tea well, i want to get into really is how y'all was eating yet. up miss margarita now, y'all know I like pigtails. I do. I do. But Margaret needs to learn when to shut up sometimes. So, we all heard about the slap heard around the world at the Oscars. I don't care no more. If you want to know my thoughts, I made a video. But at this point, it is what it is. And we can't rewind time and we can't time travel. So, let it go. But Margaret gave her opinion. Now... Everyone has had opinions, so I'm not going to dispute someone's, like, opinion about the situation. It just, Margaret just should have should have sat there and, and ate her food, or this could have been something she talked to with her girls in the group chat. So this is what Margaret had to say on Twitter. Wow, so disappointed in Will Smith's behavior tonight. At Chris Rock is a class act. He handled himself with true professionalism. Amazing the way he kept it moving. Hashtag Oscars. Now, in them comments and in them quote tweets, y'all was getting Margaret together. <laughs> so, someone retweeted when Margaret poured water oh, on when um, oh, Danielle. And then when Danielle yanked oh, her to the pits of hell by her ponytail. And I, I, I chuckled at that. But this, this oh, video of when Margaret and Joe pushed Danielle's husband in the pool. Say that my wife, you're done. You're Margaret, no. Oh my god. That's my point. You're gonna masturbate with I think you're the one who masturbated that shit. Your husband's in the book. What? You're gonna bitch slap your wife. You masturbate him every fucking day. Oh. <laughs> Say that my wife. You're done. You're fucking done. Margaret, no. Oh my god. That's my point. You're gonna masturbate with I think you're the one who masturbated that shit. Your husband's in the book. Sis, that's the same situation that Will and Jada are going through. You and Joe pushed Danielle's husband into the pool because Joe didn't like the way Danielle, Danielle's husband, was talking to you. So it's like, it's okay for you to act a fool, but it's not okay for Will Smith to have a moment of a lapse in judgment after a 30 year career and we ain't heard nothing i was like margaret hush <laughs> hush ma'am it was funny though and mind you that could be that some people could say what margaret and joe did was worse than what will did only because you didn't know if danielle's husband could swim and you pushed him in a pool now if he would have spazzed out because you know people can die in two inches of water then we would have had an issue but it was just like margaret hush hush now ma'am now let's get into this episode. okay y'all so the episode opens off where it left off where it's margaret versus Teresa fighting in the woods so they're both calling each other shit you look like shit last year you look like shit now going back and forth just being petty in the woods so Teresa keeps talking about how margaret is the news you always bringing up other people's drama you always saying stuff and margaret's like no i'm not and i'm like margaret you do you do and yeah like i keep saying i like margarita i do but the issue with margaret is like margaret does take this position like she the top dog her and her like you can definitely tell that her and Teresa are fighting for like that hbic in the group position but the issue is like margaret will never be that because this is like as much as like people be like it's an ensemble cast yes the real housewives of new jersey is an ensemble cast but everybody is technically built around Teresa. you have dolores and uh melissa are built around Teresa. the only people and even jennifer at this point 
and it's like Jackie is too with her riff and now it's like everything is built around Teresa so technically it is the Teresa show and I love how people are like um when you see the ladies doing interviews like Jackie Margaret and sometimes even Melissa they often you can see them get uncomfortable when they were like oh it's the Teresa show and they're like no it's not and it's like it kind of is like I keep saying if they were to get rid of the cast the only two people I could see staying would be Margaret or Jennifer and then they built a cast around them I really you we could get rid of Melissa because Melissa doesn't bring anything like this whole season is about her child it's not about melissa it's about antonia going through the growing pains of becoming a like young adult and having to deal with being a teenager during this time in the panini jackie yes jackie's story is pivotal talking about her um eating disorder and we'll get more into that but we don't really need jackie same with dolores we don't need dolores because all we've heard about Dolores is really about, you know, her mama. And we haven't even seen the mama's, like, recover. It's not like a progression of us following her recovery story. So it's like, it low-key is the Teresa show. But it is what it is. So they're arguing back and forth. You got Margaret. You got Teresa trying to be like, you always bringing up stuff. You bringing up stuff about my man. You bringing up stuff about Jennifer. And Marcus Rebutta is like, like, you didn't bring up about Jackie. And, and Teresa's small mind at times. Because sometimes I like Teresa and sometimes I don't. Teresa acts like she doesn't understand that what she did with Jackie was, was wrong. Teresa's whole thing is like, well, it was a rumor, so it wasn't true. And it's like, you still did that to be hurtful and shady. And you just don't like when people call, like call you on it or try to hold you accountable. My thing is, even with Margaret, I think what Margaret did was wrong. And the reason why I feel like it's equivalent to what Teresa did is because what Teresa did about Evan and um, Jackie, Evan possibly cheating on Jackie, that was a rumor. What you, what Margaret brought up about the affair, technically it could be seen as a rumor, but like no one brought it to the show. Like Evan and um, Jackie didn't bring up their mar marital issues to the show and neither did um and like neither did bill or jennifer so y'all both did the same thing teresa's just mad that nobody else is as mad about this situation or no one's holding margaret to the fire the same way they did teresa mainly it's because no none of nobody on the cast really likes jennifer like that like if you call a thing a thing like no one really likes jennifer like that like with the whole situation with jackie jackie has melissa and margaret Jennifer really doesn't have anybody other than Teresa because Dolores is a fair weather friend. So it's kind of like they don't like her. The husbands don't like her. So it's like what Margaret did was okay in their eyes, even though it's technically, in my opinion, the same thing. It's just the only difference is instead of Margaret going around telling everybody, she went straight to Jennifer. Because at the end of the day, neither one of them brought that information to the show. So... They're arguing in the woods. They're going back and forth. Teresa keeps bringing up the whole Bill and Jennifer thing. And then Jennifer chimes in and she's like, but we squashed it. We good to go. Everything is fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. Like we can move on. But Teresa don't want to move on. And honestly, I don't really think Teresa is doing this to stick up for for Jennifer. I just think she just don't like Margaret and she's using this to come at Margaret. So then Teresa said something about you know you're the reason why I knew about the Evan rumors and I was like "Ooh, is she is she and Margaret gets really angry she's like no I didn't I didn't tell you none of that and then she's like when did I she was like did you hear that come out of my mouth and then Teresa backtracks and was like well no but like you're the reason it's out there and here's my thing y'all I've been saying since season since last season that i truly believe margaret is the reason why that rumor was like circulated because of her husband joe be telling on himself when they were at guys night last season joe was like you don't think you don't think i have so many all the women that be coming through my house you don't think they be talking about it i'm like i and my thing is like 
even if y'all didn't say nothing about the rumor, you didn't tell Jackie about it because Jackie felt blindsided. So honestly, to me, I, I've always felt like she's the reason why that why there that rumor is out there. I really do. I really, I really do. So Jackie's in the back. She's like, Margaret, we're good. I don't believe it. We're good. I don't believe it. And I'm like, Jackie, you're dumb. I. And this is the thing, Jackie is always quick to call Teresa, um, no, Jennifer, a puppet of Teresa, but Jackie is a puppet of Margaret and Melissa because even with the, um, with the like new frenemy or friendship that Jennifer and Jackie were trying to create, the moment that like Jackie, like Jennifer did something that Jackie didn't like, it was F her, da da da, I don't want to be friends with her. And I'm like, if y'all are trying to build a friendship, you're supposed to wipe the slate clean. And I just, I've always felt like Jackie doesn't have a mind of her own when it comes to this group because she will follow them women to the to the ends of in the the ends of the earth, y'all. She really will. So then, Margaret's rebuttal to Teresa saying that whole comment about you know the whole Evan room, and she was like, "Well, why don't you admit that you had Jennifer calling around, calling the people to ask about to get tea on Evan and Jackie?" And Teresa's like, what? No. And I'm like, Teresa, sis, she did. <laughs> Dolores is in the back like, girl. So Jennifer is like, Teresa, it's okay. Like, basically confirming that, like, yes, you asked me to do that. But that was after you we were still hot about the Gia analogy and stuff like that. So, like, it's cool. Like, we all was doing reckless stuff at that time. So then Jackie was like, so you were trying to hurt me? And then Teresa's like, well, Jackie, you was trying to hurt me. So girl, what it is what it is at this point. And I was with Teresa on this one. It's like, well, sis, if we don't like each other, I'm going to dig. <laughs> and this is my only thing with the whole Jackie and the Gia analogy thing. Yes, it could, it, it was an analogy. But I also think that the reason why people are why Teresa is so mad is because they're on this reality show. If y'all didn't know, they didn't open like Gia had an investigation done on her by her sorority because of what Jackie said. So I'm like, yes, it was an analogy, but I I actually agree with Dolores when Dolores was like, you could have said like for example, if I would have said this, this, and this. Granted, people don't normally say this is an analogy, but like. You could like Margaret yelling like no one says that. I was like, Margaret, yes, people do. You just want Jackie to be right in this moment and Teresa to be wrong, even though we all know Teresa is wrong. I just felt like you could have said that mainly because at the end of the day, it did affect Gia. You your words did affect somebody. So that's my only thing. So everyone's still arguing. They're hungry. They're done with the tree escape thing. And then Teresa sets her sights on Tracy. And she was like, and you telling your man to ask my man about allegations. Excuse me, y'all. And Tracy's like, what? I never tell Tiki to do anything. Tiki don't be listening to me. And I'm like, girl, yeah, he do. Yeah, he do. So then, and, and Teresa's rebuttal was like, girl, I could ask you about how you were somebody's babysitter turned mistress. And then Tracy's like, no, I wasn't. I was like, Tracy, you lying. You use a bold face lie, ma'am. A bold face lie. And Tracy was like, but that's the difference. Like, you can ask me anything and I'll tell you. I was like, you can ask you anything, man. Like, you gonna tell the truth. <laughs> so, Teresa gets angry. And she's like, you know what? F this. She told Margaret, you know, you probably the one talking to his ex-wives or his or Louis' ex-girlfriends and telling them to spread the information. And you talking about my man's abusive and he not... And da 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 da. And Margaret's like, no, everyone's saying these things. And here's my thing. Should Margaret have come to Teresa about the things that she heard about Louie? Yes, because at the end of the day, she got young girls, and you don't want nobody to get beat up on or be in a, a, a domestic violence situation. But it coming from Margaret doesn't sit well with Teresa because Margaret and Teresa are not friends. So it comes off like you're trying to be a hater. And the way that Margaret is going about telling this information to Teresa or constantly bringing it up to everybody around Teresa, it comes off haterish, even though what she, the information that she has is important because there has been multiple stories about Louie and Teresa acting like she hasn't listened to them or heard them 
is is wild it doesn't make sense it really doesn't <laughs> so then Teresa just ends up leaving the um the event because she tired she's like I don't want to deal with this y'all can get these gifts that I gave you but I'm out deuces it's the next day and everybody's back from the tree you know the tree escaped from hell <laughs> and we see Melissa and Joe talk about what happened and also preparing for Antonia's 16th birthday that they want to do really big. Then uh, we see Frank and Dolores, um, Frank helping Dolores practice <laughs> better softball because at the end of the, um, Dolores ends up inviting everybody to a charity event where they are going to play against the doctors. And I guess they're raising money. I don't know for for the hospital or for a specific charity either way it's for the people so good for them and then we also see Gia and Teresa uh you know they're cleaning out their closet because we all know they're moving to a new home and the fact that um Teresa's letting Gia know about the stuff she had going down <laughs> at the tree escape and how she was upset and stuff like that so then we get like a really heartbreaking like scene with um, Jackie and her therapist. I was actually happy we got to see Jackie go to a therapist. Y'all know I was annoyed <laughs> last episode because I was annoyed with Jackie when they were bringing up how like she just kept being so like um, defensive and so dismissive of all the things that the hospital was trying to do or that a rehab center was trying to do for her. And it annoyed me because just like you're over here distraught, upset, in pain uh, with like your eating disorder. And it's like this this place that you're going to is trying to help you and you don't want to go. And it was pissing me off. It just it just was annoying me. But I was glad that we got to see her. And it just it is real. Like if you ever had a doubt in your mind, because you, we all know reality TV, people will fake a storyline like that. But this is real. And I hope she's doing better like now. Like I hope she's like, you know, gain healthy weight and that she has a better relationship with food because damn. <laughs> like when she was saying how she hasn't had ice cream in 20 years that like whenever she takes her kids out to go get ice cream, she never gets ice cream. I was just like, that has to suck. Because I love ice cream, y'all. Like... <laughs> One of my favorite, like I, one of my favorites um, from Ben and Jerry's is that Chunky Monkey um, ice cream with the bananas, the walnuts. And it tastes oh, so good. Well, like the chocolate core. And I was just like, dang. D dang, girl. And then she was also talking about how, and which is sad, where she was like bigger in high school and she was trying to put on makeup and some boy walked by and was like, it's not going to help you. And she was like, he's right. And I was just like, shit. Like, I don't think, well, you know, because I've said things when I was a kid that you don't really think about the repercussions of what, what you're saying. I think a lot, oftentimes, when you're in high school or middle school or, or and even elementary school, you say things, people laugh, or, you, or you're being a mean or you're being an asshole, and you don't really think how messed up your like how your words will have such a negative effect on somebody that it will stick with them because i there's been times that i i remember there's things that i've said to people or about people where i'm like dang like i would never want someone to say that about me or really like that was messed up but like at that time i thought it was okay and to hear that that's what someone said to her and it stuck with her then when she talked about how she met Evan when she was super skinny and she felt like she had to stay skinny because he met her skinny and I was just like wow and it just sucks because like y'all know Jackie is not my cup of tea but I would never like to hear her say how her body hurts and how she just scared of losing control and that's honestly what anorexia and any eating disorder is like is that over control like you want to control it like you have control even when people have like obesity like when you're like you're like a hundred or like 500 pounds or like you know even 800 pounds it's that control like you don't have control over anything else but you do have control over the things that you put in your body and you eat and oftentimes when people are struggling to lose weight or struggling to gain weight it's like 
it mainly is about that control and I just feel bad like I feel really bad for her because she's over here breaking down we then see a scene where she's talking to Evan and she was like you still be okay like you'll be okay if I gain weight and he was like yeah girl and I think it's important because Evan is not my cup of tea either after what happened with him and Bill because I didn't like what he said about Jennifer but I'm happy that Jackie has somebody like Evan that she has a husband like him who is present and who is actually like actively listening to her not just listening to respond like you can tell he really cares about um Jackie and he wants her to get better and I hope she does get better because she got kids and 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 she shouldn't like you don't want nobody to die that way I wouldn't want anybody to die from being severely overweight and I wouldn't want anybody to die from being severely underweight. Like starvation and gluttony is just, it's not tea, it's not it. And I just like, it just sucked to hear her say she hurts and she's scared. And it's like, damn, like you really like, she really going through it. And I hope like, I hope she gets to the other side. I oftentimes wonder if being on TV is good for her. Because sometimes, you know, seeing yourself back and forth can really warp your perception of who you are. Even with doing YouTube, there's been times where I'll be looking at a like, video, I'll be like, damn, I look fat in that. <laughs> we can't wear that shirt no more. <laughs> so, you know, so it's like, I hope she she's not like over analyzing herself to the point where she does have a relapse i did see that a few people online said that like because i don't follow jackie that she has gained weight and she looks happy and she looks better so i hope she is better i really do so the next scene is bill and jennifer going on a date and basically jennifer basically told told bill what was up we find out that her mother came back from turkey and mama Mama is not happy with Miss Margaret, Miss Margarita. <laughs> Mommy, uh, um, uh, Jennifer's mom is not happy, and Jennifer felt some type of way that she wasn't mad at Bill. And I was like, Well, your mom's a patriarchy princess, but I also think it, I, I think that can be twofold in the sense it's like, Excuse me. Her mom might clearly be mad at Bill, but I think she's also more mad that Margaret tried to ruin Bill's reputation, which indirectly affects you and her. Because Bill probably paying for half the stuff the mama got going on. But I do understand her, uh, what's her name, um, Jennifer feeling some type of way that her mom wasn't upset. But like a lot of people have been saying, like, girl, you weren't really that helpful when your mom was going through what she was going through with the daddy. But I had different feelings about that, too. <laughs> So she's talking and she's basically um, saying how like she made up with Margaret. She made up with Melissa. She just wants to move forward. Bill don't really want to F with none of them. <laughs> Bill like, I, he like chucked the deuces to them. But she basically said that like she is still angry about the situation. And she told Bill, you didn't care about me or my kids. And she said, at times, I think I made the best decision because at the time when you cheated, I was pregnant with three other kids. What, what was I going to do? But then there's times I get mad. And then Jennifer also said, she was like, I love when it's all of us together. Like we saw a flashback of um, them teaching the oldest boy how to drive. And she was just kind of like, when we're together as a family, that's what I want. But she's like, at times I do get mad at Bill. So hopefully they can rectify that situation. She clearly says she happy she stayed, but she probably need to go to counseling to work on like her anger with the situation. You then have... Um, Margaret and her assistant, I don't know that lady name, uh, and they're talking because Teresa sends out this text message about, you know, she's bringing her athleisure wear and she would like all the ladies to wear it so it could be advertised and all the proceeds will go to um, Dolores charity event. Margaret phone like FaceTimes Tracy and she like, girl, no, we not wearing that. I got to teach her a lesson. You're not going to talk to me any kind of way and think I'm going to wear your stuff. And Teresa's coming from the standpoint where we're like, we argue and we fight, but when we have a business, we support everybody's business, so they should still support my business. I can see it on both sides. I can see Margaret being like, girl, you cussed me out, and we just had an argument like two days ago. I'm not wearing your stuff. Same with Tracy. And I can see Teresa where she's like, well, we always argue and fight, but if we are promoting each other's businesses, we move forward. It is what it is. <laughs> 
So it's the charity event. They all get um, baseball jerseys with their last names on it, which was cute. And I probably would have wanted one too. Everybody shows up. They all show up in dif different increments. You can see Evan is super excited because, you know, he a frat bro. <laughs> And uh, we're all wondering if Teresa's going to come or not. Tracy, uh, Margaret, and Melissa are having a conversation in the um, in the locker room. And they're talking about Teresa's text message. And they're both, Tracy and Margaret are like, we're not wearing her stuff. So then we have everybody else showing up. We then have Louie, uh, Teresa, and Gia show up. Gia's participating. And... <laughs> Basically, Gia is not here for Miss Margaret, Miss Miss Trout Mouth, Miss Pink Tails. And Teresa brings everybody, you know, she told them, I'm bringing y'all some shorts, I'm bringing y'all some pants, blah, day, blah, day. And they're going to wear it. They're all deciding to wear it. But except for Tracy and um, Margaret. So when Teresa is making this announcement, I bring everybody this, <laughs> Margaret's things like, we're good. And the way Gia's head cocked to the side, like, <laughs> and she, her face was like, and mind you, a lot of people felt some type of way, but I didn't. At the end of the day, Gia is 20, 21. That's her mama. That is her mama. Just like how Mama Joyce be in the mix, how Brooks was in the mix on Salt Lake City. Like, even uh, Tamara's January 6th little son be in the mix. Gia can be in the mix because Gia pipes up and she's like, it's black leggings. I have on black leggings. You can wear black leggings. And my thing was like, she wasn't disrespectful. She didn't uh, come out, um, come out her mouth when she was talking to Margaret. And Margaret wasn't disrespectful e either. Margaret was like, mm, I'm good. I don't want to wear them. And she's like, okay. So then when um, Gia goes to the bathroom to put on like the, the leggings and all that stuff that Teresa brought, she was like, she being a bitch. <laughs> and she said it to her mom. And then Teresa was like, she was a bitch to you. And I said, no. <laughs> I was like, mama, mama's inner tigress was coming out. And she was like, no, I just said she could wear the pants because, you know, we all trying to support each other. So in her confessional, Gia's like, y'all are friends, y'all are fighting, but at the end of the day, y'all should still be able to support one another. And I get that, but sis, Margaret don't got to put on the shorts if she don't want to put on the shorts. <laughs> it is what it is. If she don't want to wear the shorts, she ain't got to wear the shorts. She don't have to. <laughs> it is what it is. So everybody puts on the shorts. We then see Jennifer because Jennifer is the last one to show up. We find out Bill ain't there because, like I said, Bill don't want to mess with y'all. Y'all tried him and he done with y'all. And this is when Jackie makes a comment about Jennifer being a puppet. But like I said, Jackie is a puppet as well. She's just more a little bit more vocal than Jennifer. But Jennifer had on the leggings and she was like, hey, y'all, you know what? They playing the games. They all having a good time. I was surprised that they won. But they only won because of Tiki and because they kept hitting home runs. So I was like, okay. But Tiki got the winning shot, which was really cute, where he caught the ball and he fell on the floor and did a roll. I said, okay, bro, show your athleticism. So before Tiki and them, like, show, before Tiki showed up, Margaret was up to bat. And uh, Teresa was like, well, if she would have had on my leggings, her ass would have been jiggling. Like, it would have been cuter. And then Teresa, Tracy is like, oh my God, this body shaming. When I'm looking at Tracy, like, so you didn't have anything to say when they were critiquing Jennifer's nose job? That in and of itself is body shaming. Jackie said her nose looked bad. She's like, I'm sorry, but it looks horrible. And I, that's when I was looking at Jackie funny, like, ah, you're the one dealing with your own body issues. It would be nice of you to shut the hell up, Jackie. Then Margaret made a comment about it. So if Margaret can body shame, because Margaret was body shaming Danielle when Danielle was on there, then she could get it back and forth. But Tracy tells Margaret when Teresa's up to bat and Margaret's like, what she's saying is disgusting. I'm like, y'all have equally said disgusting and disparaging things about each other. So this whole, like, that's hypocrisy. As much as Margaret is like, Jennifer is a hypocrite, Margaret is a hypocrite. They all hypocrites, if you, if you ask me. So she didn't like the comment. Margaret didn't like the comment. But like I said, they end up winning. They end up, I think, um, raising over two. I think it was $20,000. It either was $20,000 or $200,000.
but it was all for charity and like um Dolores ended off the night we didn't get into no fight it was all good and it was it was a cute episode I'm ready I'm waiting for when Teresa knocked them glasses off the table we we don't condone violence over here but that's a song I'm, I'm ready for the shenanigans I'm ready for that mess because she was mm, mm, mm. like them cats do but yeah, yeah, that is it. That is all. Remember to be bravely authentic. Drop down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Deuces.